struggling to figure out what to eat when you're trying to build muscle and lose unwanted fat well in this video i'm going to show you exactly what i eat in every couple of hours of my day that helps me maintain and build my muscle and also get rid of unwanted fat stay tuned if you want to see this eating and fueling your body is extremely imperative when you are trying to lose weight build muscle and just basically just get rid of that unwanted fat so you know fueling your body is really important this is why i'm here today to show those individuals who really struggle with figuring out what to eat you know sometimes we get really busy in our day you know we just eat snacks instead of actually fueling our body meanwhile we're going to the gym working really really hard to lose that unwanted fat and build muscle but you're not really fueling your body. It is extremely contradictory to work really, really hard at the gym and not provide your body with what it needs to be able to provide the results. Guys, check out this video to understand exactly why it's important to eat enough to be able to lose weight. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through my breakfast all the way till my dinner and show you what a day of healthy nutrient based meals that are also delicious to make sure that I am hitting my caloric target. Also just being able to maintain muscle, build muscle and just get rid of that unwanted fat. Stay tuned if you want to see this. So guys, my first meal, I call it a meal, but it's technically a drink, is going to be coffee that has protein in it. I know that sounds really interesting. I wake up really early in the morning. I just love to have at least one cup of coffee in a day, um, get that caffeine. It kind of gets me going, but I like to incorporate um, some protein in it. So here is exactly how I make my high caloric protein drink. All right, first we're going to start off with our co coffee caffeinated protein drink so here i got my organic almond milk which we're going to use as you can see i got my grass-fed whey protein powder which we're going to use as well of course and i have some espresso this is how i make my coffee and cinnamon right here as you can see and of course my mug to keep my drink warm since it is getting cold and i want it warm and not cold all right, guys, so I'm going to take my whey protein and I'm going to pour it into the, take one scoop. I'm going to pour it into this smoothie um, cup. Then I'm going to take my espresso. Of course, I'm going to pour it into the same cup as well. That is two shots of espresso. Take my one cup of almond milk pour it into the cup as well actually we're going to pour it into the mug heat it up in the microwave or the pot whatever you want and then when it's heating up i took some cinnamon one tablespoon or actually one teaspoon of cinnamon and then we are going to pour that in the same mug as well and then we're going to bring that almond milk pour it in that mixture as well and then we're just going to blend it and it's going to be really hot not too hot but you want to make sure that the almond milk is hot because once you blend it for some reason you may lose the temperature um goes down then i want to add some syrup just to give it a little bit of flavor not too much because it's going to be too sweet i don't like my coffee too sweet and then i'm going to shake it up and voila look at that it is nice and warm it's a nice beautiful warm coffee drink i'm going to sprinkle some of that cinnamon on top to make it nice and pretty and here is your protein field coffee. All right, guys, now I'm gonna show you guys my second meal. My second meal is gonna be like a snack slash breakfast. You can eat this if you want with, with the coffee. However, I don't like to consume protein, like too much protein at once because it, it can be bad for some people's digestive systems. I know my digestive system is really stubborn sometimes so i like to space it out so maybe like first i'll do the coffee very early in the morning like six o'clock i wake up early and then after that i'll do uh, my oatmeal maybe around 10 o'clock try to space it out that way maybe like two, every two or three hours so here is exactly how i make my protein and nutrient filled oatmeal snack slash breakfast all right next we're going to make our oatmeal this is going to be like again i said breakfast slash lunch so i was heating it up as you can see now it's nice and ready i like my oatmeal cooked all the way then i'm going to take one scoop of that whey protein and i'm going to pour it into my oatmeal um, it does get tend to get lumpy if you pour it into really really hot liquid so i usually add my almond milk that, that it's cold 
just so my protein doesn't get lumpy because it does not taste good when it's lumpy and we're gonna add some syrup for some flavor because this tends to taste really plain to me if it doesn't have some flavor just a little bit not too much because you don't want it to be too sweet because we're gonna add some fruit in it stir it up really really good guys to get rid of that lump place some bananas in there some berries as you can see just to make it nice and delicious some strawberries and then you're going to have your protein filled oatmeal is so delicious guys you get to eat a nice breakfast you do get to hit your protein intake and it is hot so be careful as you eat it and guys it is so delicious i just love this it fills me up it keeps me full and it's just again delicious all right guys it's lunch time i don't know about you guys but i do not like to cook and this is exactly why i like to make food that number one have enough protein enough nutrients and takes about less than an hour to make this lunch meal is going to take 35 minutes to make it's really delicious with this lunch i like to split up my lunch in two meaning i'm going to eat my lunch and then i'm going to eat the same lunch and i want to eat it for dinner that way i don't have to cook later on in the evening especially for those of you who don't like to cook like me so here is my lunch all right now we have lunch right here again the oatmeal could have counted as a snack or breakfast whatever you want so as you can see we have our rice mushroom tikka masala and some shrimp so we're gonna make some tikka masala shrimp shrimp has really high amount of protein guys so make sure you take advantage of that um, as well as salmon so now we're going to mix our crab seasoning garlic powder mix in whatever seasoning you want paprika i just usually just put anything honestly <laughs> and it always ends up turning good so we're going to cook it in the oil as you guys know of course you don't want to cook your shrimp too much because it does become chewy so we're just going to cook it a little bit because we're going to add it into that mixture later so just make sure that it's cooked but not overcooked All right, then we're going to take those mushrooms that we cut up, or if they're already cut up, that's even better, right? And then we are going to um, use that same pan. Nothing wrong with using the residue from the shrimp. It actually just does add some character into your food. We're going to place those mushrooms in there and also, of course, scraping off that, um, you know, burnt shrimp juices then we're gonna cook our rice as you can see while that's cooking i'm gonna mix in my tikka masala sauce i love this sauce because it comes ready i don't have to make a sauce it's organic it's delicious then we're just gonna cook it in there with the mushroom just let it marinate then add the shrimp and cook it really really quickly you don't want to overcook it again so you're just gonna mix it in and then what i did at the end was just cover it up on really low heat to let it marinate then i'm gonna add it on top of my rice as you can see i am packing my food to go all right guys now we have our snack this smoothie is basically what i like to take before i go to the gym or i take it while i'm working out because i like to provide my body with enough sugar while i'm working out because sometimes we do tend to lose sugar while working out so i like to drink my protein smoothie at the, when i'm working out that way i'm able to just maintain my glucose levels when i'm working out so i don't get lightheaded so you can either drink this before or after i don't like to drink it before because i get really full so here is exactly how to make the smoothie literally takes you about 10 minutes all right guys now for this smoothie that we're going to take to the gym i'm going to have my collagen grass-fed whey protein my mixed berries and my greens for those vegetables as you can see my lunch did not have vegetables this is how i get my vegetables i'm going to mix all those ingredients in together however you want one scoop of protein we're going to take that banana and then we're going to add some collagen collagen is really great for your joints i love taking this because my joints get weak when i work out a lot and then i'm going to add some water feel free to add any other liquid you want i just like water because it's cheaper mix everything in together pack it up ready for the gym like i mentioned earlier dinner is going to be exactly the same as lunch since i already made um the shrimp that you guys just saw with some um some rice um sometimes i like to mix in quinoa for that extra protein i'm just gonna come back home after a long day and i'm just gonna eat the shrimp that i made i like to eat about two hours before bed give yourself maybe a one to two hour window before you go to bed that way your food is able to digest but i try to give my body enough time to digest the food so now if you're able to eat all that stuff that i just mentioned guys you should be able to hit that 2000 plus caloric intake now everybody is different so i can't give you a generic amount of calories that you have to eat but i recommend women especially 
to at least eat 2000 calories to be able to um, restore your metabolism especially if you're trying to lose weight and to be able to um, see results when it comes to building muscle for men of course men are required to eat at least 3000 calories for men if you're watching this video all you have to do is just double the amount uh, the portion that you're eating to hit that 2000 caloric goal so as you guys can see that totals out to about five meals per day that should be enough for a typical day i have tested this multiple times it seems to work you just have to stay consistent thank you guys for watching this video hope you enjoyed it and i will see you guys in my next video